Hey guys, you're at Newsrama.com. We are at New York Comic Con. I'm Justin Tyler. I am Pete LePage. And we're here talking to Mike Richardson. I'm Hello, Mike sir. Richardson. Yeah. Yes, oh, you good. are. We're part of the morning team here at uh, New York Comic Con, giving you news, weather, and not sports. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Sure, so happy quick, to be here. If you guys have a question, uh, hit us at on the hashtag RamaCon on Twitter. Hashtag R-A-M-A-C-O-N. All right, so uh, first <laughs> off, uh, tell us about uh, Dark Horse Superheroes. Dark Horse Superheroes, well, we've been in the superhero business in the past, uh, particularly in the 90s, but it seemed like uh, this was a good time for us. We're having uh, a great time with uh, the different series we're doing, and we thought that we'd bring back some of our classic characters together with a few surprises. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it seems like with like BPRD going uh, so well and going like as a monthly book, basically, like makes well, total sense. That's all part of the Mignola verse. You yeah, know, yeah, the, right. uh, he's uh, introducing a number of books that are all sort of uh, his world. Uh, but you know, this is a different thing. Not that we hope that maybe he'll his world will maybe uh, <laughs> spill over every once in a while. But um, the, uh, you know, look, we did uh, superheroes. We decided not to, when I started the company, we didn't want to compete directly with Marvel and DC, so we sort of stayed away from the traditional sort of superhero book. We did have superhero books, but they were like uh, eccentric superheroes, like Concrete and, and Flaming Carrot One and Mr. Favorites. Monster. Yeah. And so we had sort of a unique group of characters that, in a weird way, all fitted together. But then we decided, you know, in the early 90s that it was time for us to get into that particular part of the business. And uh, uh, we uh, launched our Comics Greatest World. And uh, unfortunately, with six, within six months, uh, you know, unplanned by us, there were 65 new universes and, yeah. you know, 35, in 35 new companies. And uh, suddenly it all sort of got lost. We had two big successes out of that. Although the whole line, you know, I mean, we launched in the hundred thousands with all of the titles. Wow. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was a crazy time, like mid nineties. Yeah, like. it was. And you know, the uh, two of them were long running successes. Uh, X and Ghost were yeah. the two yeah. most popular. And uh, you know, with all the gimmicks and all the glut of uh, superhero stuff, we sort of got out of it. We sort of uh, lost the mojo, as yes. you should say. So you know, years have gone by, and you know, look, I've got. 70 boxes of comics uh, <laughs> in my house. I hear you, man. You know, I, you know hear you. I can't even find the comics I want. I have to put out nice collections so that I can actually find the comic I want yeah. to read. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, so I like superheroes. I've collected them all my life, and uh, you know, it's not that we don't like them, but uh, we, th we thought it's time to get back in that, and we have some really fun uh, projects coming up. Uh, yeah, let's go through them. You're, you're relaunching Ghost and X. We, we, Relaunching Ghost, we're relaunching X. Uh, we're actually using a vehicle to sort of get people to, uh, a little bit of a taste of what they are through Dark Horse Presents, yeah. mm -hmm. our double award winning uh, comics anthology. Uh. Um, yes. <laughs> now that's when you uh, go to the people. It's won both uh, <laughs> the Harvey Award and the Eisner Award this year, so we're very happy right. about yeah. it. Uh, the amazing thing about Dark Horse Presents, uh, you know, people look and they'll see a comic, oh, f uh, 48 pages or something. The thing about Dark Horse Presents, it's, it costs a little more than a regular comic, but it's 80 pages and it's all comics. There are no yeah. ads. You know? In fact, sometimes when creators can't get it down to eight pages, we're actually 81 pages because we have to end up using yeah. the inside front cover. You know, So, wow. <laughs> so th that's a bonus page, by the yeah. way. That, <laughs> more bang for your buck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 80 pages for what? 7.99. It's yeah. it's the equivalent of what four comics. And it's great. You guys are so good at bringing in like like great, unique creators uh, to work on stuff that they wouldn't find a home yeah. for another. It, it, Dark Horse Presents is uh, the great uh, opportunity it gives us. First of all, some creators are busy with their books. You know, they're busy at another company, Marvel or DC. I say, look, only eight pages. That's all you have to do. And <laughs> so they've wait, I can do that, sometimes yeah. plus one. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's always hard for me. You know, I can't get it in eight pages. Can I have eight and a half pages? You know, I, my story needs eight and a half pages, you know. But you have to try and help out. And uh, <laughs> the... Uh, uh, the great thing about Dark Horse Presents is you can not only it gives us access to more creators, it gets us, we can get name creators, big name creators, we can get brand new talent in there that maybe uh, they're not well known enough or their characters aren't well known enough to launch a series, which, you know, it's a tough market to launch series. But in Dark Horse Presents, if you've got Frank Miller over here and somebody new over here, somebody 
it's going to see this creator. So yeah. it's worked out really well. Plus the crea the creations that come in. So we put a combination of new and old creators, and I mean old only in established. I should say. Yeah, no one's saying anyone's old. I'm here. not We're saying all very that. Very young. Please don't get mad. Fresh. At me. Yeah. And uh, new and new characters, fresh characters, and uh, established characters. Yeah. And uh, it's just a great mix of products. So we're using that as the vehicle to launch a lot of these characters. Captain Midnight's coming up, uh, which nice. is really going to be fun. And we've got some other little surprises. Maybe I'll even mention a couple of them. Oh, so let's oh, good. <laughs> What's that? If you want to mention them first, but uh, oh, well, we'll mention as okay, we go. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Nice. Uh, uh, Let's talk. That's seven. how I get more coverage. As I throw a little tidbit out yeah, there, that's and right. then you, you guys got to keep trying to get it out watching, of me. Yeah.